talk. So we're going to discuss today the uh, two-stage binomial offshore pricing model, and we're going to do a single stage in another video. But a two-stage binomial pricing model, basically the premise that the stock is going to go up and or down, that's what it's called binomial, and if we know, to so have some history, how it behaved from that position, and we can apply that for the future, is basically the concept of the binomial option pricing model. So let's assume we have this data. The stock today, the stock today is $60. And we did some analysis, and we saw that going up from this position is 1.25 times up, it's called the up position, and down position is 80. The X, we can lock in at 55, which is a future price. So already the call option is in the money. S is higher than X, so it's already in the money at this point. So I guess when we do the premium, probably the premium is going to be more than the five dollars. But we'll see. Of course, we have some other ideas. We have the I, which is a free risk-free rate at three and a half, and we have going to do the frequency. Let's say it's it's per year stage, one year stage, and uh, we're going to do two stages. Or two periods, I guess. So we're trying to calculate the call option and the put option. Okay? Hopefully I can get all this. Anyway, so the binomial option price is said, okay, the stock today is $60. We start with our premise. And from here, you go up or down. So we apply the U. So 1.25 times 60, that's why it's called S U, right? S times U. So 60 times 125, so 25% increase from the 60, it gets to 75. And then there's a chance the stock is gonna go 0.8, which is called S D. 0.8 times 60, that's $48. So the stock can go to 75, 48, that's the range. And sometimes that range we can use later when we do method one, which is the leverage method. This is the probability method, if you will. But there is a chance, since it's two stage, that it's gonna go up again by 125. Of course, SU squared, you can achieve that by doing 60 times SU squared. But 75 times 125 is 93.75. Then from here, it can go down. It's a binomial pricing. 75 times 0.8. So you have here 60 again. Back to the original level, which is fine. And 48 can go up or down. If it goes up by 125, it happens to be the same 60, which is fine. But if it continues to go down again, which is SD squared, that's going to be 40.4, 48 times 0.80, and I get 38.40. And here I'm going to call this SU up or down, or SD down and up. It's the same thing. DW times U times S is the same as SU times D. So now we ask our question if indeed the stock goes the highest level possible twice, 93.75, would you exercise the call option? Of course, because 93.75 is higher than the X. And here, we're gonna to try to get the payoff. As you know, the payoff for call option is maximum zero, or S, in this case, SU squared minus X. So 93.75 minus 55 is positive, and the difference is 38.75. Then you ask the question, would you exercise at 60? Yes, because 55 is the X. So here, the payoff is maximum zero, S U D minus X. So 60 minus 55, we would get $5 if the stock was down to 60 at expiration. Of course, 55 is the X. 
from here now, if it goes down twice, you're going to ask yourself, with 3840, would you exercise? Of course, we're going to say no, because the S is lower than the X. Since it's maximum 0 and S, D squared minus, minus X is negative, we're going to use the maximum 0. So as the payoff is 0, of course, we'll let it expire. And if we get paid nothing, we we'll lose the original premium, which we're going to calculate anyway. So from here, we're going to try to use probability. What is the probability of getting 38.75? The probability of staying here, the probability of staying here, two years out. Because remember, there are two stages here. So the first thing we do, we we'll try to calculate the probability. So let's do it. Then it's a ratio of the probability, which is one plus i minus the d, and I'm, uh, we're, going, we're going up, up minus down. So this is the formula, which is basically is a one plus 0.35 minus 0.8 divided by 1.25 minus 0.8. I did the calculation and I get point, uh, in this case, I get 0.52. So probability that it's going to go up is 52%. And the reverse, because it's binomial, 1 minus p is 0.48. So we got 52 and 48. And it has to add up to 100, because that's every possibility, up and down. So now, I'm going to use a different pen to calculate the possibilities we have the call option, right? We try to get a call option square as 38.75 times 52%. They said 52%, we're gonna get that, plus five times 48%. But we're gonna present value back one period to get it to this stage. Remember, this is stage Zero. This is stage one, and this is stage two. So at stage two, I have to bring it to stage one. And one o three five, which is one plus one o three five. I did the calculation, and I got uh, twenty one eighty six. So it's a chance if the stock moves up, up, or up, down. There is a probability, use the probability 52% of 48, I would get paid something in between 5 and 38, most likely close to 38, 52 to 48 kind of thing. That's 2186, bring it back one period. Here, we're going to count, if it goes down here, which is not good for the call option, but we're going to try, right? So we're going to do CD squared, right? So basically, as a CD, that's what it's called, yeah, CD squared, right? is um, 5 times 52 plus 0 times 48. You go back, 1 plus 0.03, 5, right? And if I do this calculation, I get to 252. Then what you do, so this is, I'm going to put it right here, 252. Uh, sorry, 2186 and 252. You brought it one stage back, and now we're going to calculate the call option here. Call option is basically, um, actually, it's call option one and down, because you brought it one back, right? Call option used back there. So now we're going to calculate the call option. So I get 2186 times 52 again plus 252 times 43, 48, sorry. And one stage back from here back, 1035. So the call option calculation is 1219, which makes sense because it needs to be higher than five. You're already in the, option, in the money, $5. So the stock has to continue going up 
maybe put for another eight dollars, oh, sorry, five, twelve, seven dollars and nineteen cents more. So the stock has to go from sixty to sixty-seven nineteen. That will be the break-even point for you to meet that threshold. So that's the call option. The, the call option using a binomial option pricing for two stage.